This episode of The Modern Rogue brought to you by NordVPN. Go to nordvpn.com slash rogue and get 70% off a three-year plan and an additional free month. You're welcome. All right, Annalisa, what are we making? We are making a keychain. That sounds like something we would not normally do on this show. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like you could say, we're making a keychain, dot, 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 that transmits illegal radio signals. Does it do that? Or no. kill people? No, but it, it does, does. It does kill people, doesn't it? It could. Go well, on. It's a keychain that happens to have a one inch steel ball bearing in it. Yes. Okay. Are we getting closer now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. we're I, getting right. Am I right in understanding that's a sap that'll crack a skull and. Yeah, and it looks all innocuous, just like a little keychain decoration and not a weapon, which is my favorite kind of weapon that you don't think it's a weapon. This is a monkey's fist, which is used in sailing. Also used in rock climbing to wedge that in between rocks. But my favorite use is as a melee weapon on the decks of ships that sailors would use that and they'd call it a slung shot. If we wanted to have a discreet weapon that we could carry on us at all times that we could claim was just a keychain or whatever, but feel safe going to our car in the parking lot every night, this seems like the perfect solution. It could be. What you want is some length of something that allows you to swing the hard ouchy thing into someone's head. And the way you have the ouchy thing in a pocket is with the monkey's paw? Fist. 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 Is there it's a clip-on version? <laughs> a what? Like, yeah, you, know, you got clip-on ties <laughs> like if you tie? can't tie no. a tie. I, I think we're going to have to learn the actual dog. Okay. How do we begin? You start with your ball bearing. You're gonna want a piece of paracord that is a couple of feet long. Basically, you want it to be able to go around your fingers four times, times three. That would be 12, mostly. <laughs> Last time I Unless checked. you got really Last cool fingers. Yeah. It's an X, a Y, and a Z axis. So that's nine. Okay, oh wait, four, three times. <laughs> Never mind. continue. Okay, nope. so I'm fine. One, two. Okay, so get, get a, a little extra length here, because you might want to attach it to something in the end. I wrapped it too tight on my fingers. <laughs> you get yourself a tail. Yep. Because you're going to have something to work with. Okay. And then this hand shape here. If L you're right-handed, of... I would recommend winding around your left hand. Okay. And vice and, versa otherwise. Uh, giving a decent tail on the left hand. Got it. Start with your, your palm flat out. Yes. Okay, now take your ring finger and pinky finger. Yes. And there you go. Okay, so we're, we're gonna be wrapping around these two fingers here. Oh, got it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> kind of use your thumb to guide a little bit, but I mean, everybody's hands are different. You're gonna wanna do whatever works for you. And then wind it around your two fingers four times. Mine are all kind of the same size, but yours are getting wider. Is that an important part? To we make will it a... fix it later. Okay, okay. This is, you actually want it to be kind of wide at this point because at some point you're going to have to put the ball bearing between your fingers. Okay. And mine actually might be a little bit wide, but I can adjust it as I go. Okay. So now is the fun part. You take the ball bearing and you slip it into the little cage. In the middle. Mm hmm. All well, right. this is also a good time to kind of adjust down the, uh, the loops so that there's not too much hanging off because you're gonna have to keep them in a straight line lined up. Oh, so what we want is to create kind of walls. You see how this one has the neatly lined up? Yes. Like this is a loop, that is a loop, and that is a loop. Grab the, the right side Tail. end. Yep, yes. all the way to the end, got yep. it. And okay, up around your middle finger. Yeah. And then around the back. So now we're gonna go around and wrap it around Ooh. this side. How many times? Uh, however many times you did it around the first okay, time. So, so, so right now it looks like I have one, two, three, four complete rotations. So mm -hmm. now I'm gonna do one, two. You doing okay wait, over there? Three, four. Well, I don't think so. Okay, well, <laughs> let's get you caught up real quick. All right, right, I'm, I'm okay. close, right? So, so you have four there, so back around. Now you're gonna have to poke it up through that little hole right there. Right, yeah, okay. Yep. And I'll get that out of your way. And now you wrap it around this way. And just through again? Yep. Like so, oh, okay, yeah. And I then gotcha. you don't have to wrap it super tight. Just make sure it's tight enough right now to hold the steel ball bearing in place. I think I'm pretty close. 
us out. Like, did I do good? You did. Yeah. You're, yeah. Very nice, Brian. Is you it, may want to loosen it a little bit, though. Okay, I'll loosen it. You're gonna have, to, you're gonna have to straighten it out later. I feel but like yeah, I no, just got it's... approval from teacher. <laughs> This is pass fail, right? Is this pass fail or? <laughs> it's fine. We'll figure it out. I have, I have three here, but four here. That's wrong, right? Oh yeah. Um, I guess we're all born different. It's in the end, it's probably so not right going to matter wrong. all that much. Okay, it doesn't matter. We're okay. okay, we'll 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 make it work. Work with what you got. So now is the fun part where you take your fingers out, and you have to wind this way. And this is with the tail, the same tail that we were just The same tail that you've around. been winding around before. So this is where leaving the, the lines loose a little bit yeah. can actually be really helpful. Okay. As just you're maneuvering it around. Thread it through all of them? Yeah. Okay. So, and I, I took out my top finger first mm -hmm. because I'm gonna have to hold everything steady while I pull this around. Yep. And carefully take out the bottom finger and run the line up. And now I'm just gonna do it. Ah, uh, no. Yes. I mean, oh no, man, that's that's too bad. That's that's really too bad. <laughs> Would you like to start over? No, no, we're good. Let's keep going. Okay. okay. <laughs> now, do we need a break so you can catch up? So now you can take this finger out slowly and carefully. Yeah, he, he did both. Um, he can do both. Can He's just gonna have both. to keep track of all of them now. I'm keeping track because I'm holding okay. it from both okay. sides. Okay, now there's one problem with that. There's no problems with it. I see no problems with the fact that my fingers are all locked onto a steel ball bearing because I've tried to figure out how to make a goddamn monkey paw to solve oh, crimes. Guillermo! <laughs> If I'm following the logic, what we want to do is thread through and through and around and stuff. Right. This end here. Yeah. This finger's going to come out. Okay. Now you're going to put that through that. Yes. That set right there. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yes. And then I go around four times, which is the same time every yeah. else happens. Yeah. And this is the part where you are going to have to take the bottom finger out. Oh, I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. Now, yes, we wrap around the Z axis. Oh, we are almost I there. I see what you're talking about. Is, All right, you, you got to keep them st flat, though. Uh, working, I'm working, I'm doing okay. my best. Okay. I, I want a gold star. Oh, okay. You're going to get a participation ribbon. <laughs> no! <laughs> I am just about to the point where I can start tightening mine up and it'll actually start to look like what it's supposed to be. I think I am too. So do know. you want to fix it yourself, or do you want me to no, try to No, fix no, it? no, no, it's fine, it's fine. It's gonna okay. be just as deadly as his, maybe more deadly. This is the part where we start making it look nice Kay. and just start fidgeting. Okay, how? We fidget. To what end? <laughs> <laughs> you can start by taking the end that you started with, if you can remember which one that is. It doesn't really matter. You're gonna be pulling them both out in the end anyway. All right. Jason, oh, you're yeah. our only hope. I'm, no. I'm, I'm a All lost right. cause. Look at this. I'm, I'm a lost cause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is our only hope. <laughs> is, is the ball bearing even in there? Go on without me. <laughs> it's fine. Leave him. <laughs> Unfortunately, this part is kind of just fidgety and- No, it's in there. It's, it's totally in there. <laughs> Two men down! Only one can cross the finish line on our behalf! Everything rests! I've made a bolo tie that I'm gonna wear. <laughs> this happens great. What Hold is on. with you in bolo ties lately? <laughs> hey, howdy, hey, y'all. T Techie Texas here. T Techie Texas. Head on down. Here we go. 6006 I 35 between Stastny and Manchak. We got all. I was here. hoping to finish before he started doing a character. I'm just gonna <laughs> keep uh, going, Elf. I'm just gonna fix this. It's fine. Nope, I got my groove. It's already starting to look like it's supposed to look. And this is actually a pretty good visual example of the fidgeting that you have to do, which is basically, you're kind of making it all over again, except you're tightening what you did. Cause it's one loop and then the next loop. And, it, and, and then, essentially at some point, it becomes like a, I don't know, like a nestled interwoven fingers, everything mm -hmm. grabbing on itself, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then part of what you want the pokey thing for, mm -hmm. you want to make sure all of the different pieces of cord are all lined up. And sometimes you have to force them 
to go where you want them. This is one of those moments where like literally neatness counts. Yes. Because otherwise, if it's not neat, if it is a disaster like my bolo tie, then, then the ball will go flying out. Correct. All right, well, I'm actually- I don't actually... know why I thought we could do this, just me and you. <laughs> can, be, you know, like, can you believe that the original script did not involve Annalisa? <laughs> it involves some version of us doing this? I'm on the last loop. Ta-da! Ta-da! So- It is complete. Now, at this point, I assume you want everything as, uh, what, as tight as, as you can make it mm -hmm. all the way around? And yeah. then, and from there, you can braid or add or, or do whatever? Yeah, that's exactly what you do. Man. That's part of why I made the two pieces come out the same spot, so that you can have it all pretty. Let's find out just how nasty this thing is. Yeah! <laughs> What's the reverse of CPR? Murder. <laughs> I really regret asking that question. <laughs> All right, so the one you carry with you is what, like eight inches long or whatever? I'm gonna assume that, that'll, that'll hurt whatever. pretty bad, right? Safety moment. Yeah, safety moment. Safety, safety moment. moment. Is it gonna be you, Annalise? Yeah, I think uh, she's probably got some frustrations to get out. I know can, I do. Can, uh, <laughs> I, I'm fine. I Most don't know of them not related. <laughs> I am looping my pinky into the carabiner because who Good knows? Call. All right, go away, bad guys. Whoo! Okay, okay. That, was that, that the bad? Did I hit the cheek? Yeah, yeah. Oh no, yeah. That's uh, what that uh, is. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> that's a that's a fractured cheek. Mm -hmm. Second strike and go. Whoo! Where did I hit? I, His pride. <laughs> I saw it. Keep going. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now he looks like Owen Wilson. It feels like I can go harder, but I'm scared, yeah, and I don't what? know what Here. I'm scared of. As hard as you can. You're scared of hitting your hand on this hard board, but you're gonna be right. Mm, you're gonna Hold break up. that head right off. Oh yeah, there that's you go. what also, you're afraid I'm of. Up. Oh, you got a little dent there, I think. Yep. I scuffed him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you defeated the, 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 the RPC! <laughs> oh, Annalise, that was fantastic. Normally this is the part where we have people do plugs for stuff they're selling or whatever, but is there is there something that you just you just love and want more people to experience? Well, yeah, I'd love it if people would go check out my friend's uh, storytelling podcast, Ake Willow, A-C-H-E-W-I-L-L-O-W. What's the elevator pitch on that? It's uh, cozy horror and baking. Cozy horror and baking! I'm into that. Oh my god! I this like that. This woman who just broke the head off of a child! But do we <laughs> do we still get the gold ninja stars? <laughs> Jason Murphy, I am a lord of time and space. Some kind of time lord. I wish there was a word for that. Oh, um, again, this is, uh, first of all, copyright infringement. Second, delusions of grandeur. You need to back off the caffeine, because this is just the power that you feel from NordVPN. You don't have any sort of powers, Brian. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You're telling me I don't have power? I have the power to have none of my IT people knowing what websites I'm going to. I have the power to call my ISP, have them do tech support without somebody creepily mentioning what websites I went to. I have the power to teleport to different regions throughout the world to watch content that may or may not be available in different areas. Are you saying that you've got access to thousands of different servers placed in 61 separate countries all over the world? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Not just that, I'm saying the best kind of access. I'm talking about the type of access that PC Mag gives its very top honors to, and I'm talking about getting it at 70% off for three years, plus an extra bonus month free if I go to nordvpn.com slash rogue. Apparently you will be a lord of time. Doggone right, you'll be getting top quality military grade encryption, which yes, we can argue about what that means but the point is nobody's gonna be watching what you're up to and you're gonna feel protected you're gonna be able to teleport to different lands and places and see content that would never be possible in your country that's right it exists and most importantly you'll be supporting our little show and the inevitable copyright lawsuit that Brian's gonna get smacked with I don't know what you're talking about I'm going back to Gala Fre Freya Galley Freya Galley totally independent <laughs> 
place. This is like an Asylum Pictures version of uh, something else that I, sounds familiar, but it's fine. I remember a time when Brian's wife was pregnant with their first child and you wanted, he actually wanted in the delivery room <laughs> to take the umbilical and do the fake cut and then <laughs> it was a serious conversation.